Hey guys, it's your boy Cino, official admin of Extreme Xbox Gamers. Today, I want to talk to you about a huge person in our community, a, our gaming community. And if you read the title or figured it out by the thumbnail, I'm talking about Phil Spencer. If you don't, if you don't know who he is, well, he's the head of the Xbox team, and he is making some waves in the gaming community by making some very controversial statements. Now, these statements, I'm going to tell you what they are, and then I'm going to kind of give you my thoughts on them and down in the comment section below be sure to leave your thoughts on these statements because I'm, I'm interested in what you have to, to say about them uh, the first statement that Phil Spencer said recently is that console wars are unhealthy for our industry and to be honest with you I'm in a full agreement with that statement we are a part of a community of some very passionate people and if we could get people to take off their fanboy glasses off for just a minute and start respecting other people's opinions of their console, then our gaming community would grow without borders. I personally love having con conversations with people that own other consoles, especially ones that are not focused on the gaming news, but focused on the gaming games themselves that look interesting to them. Those are the true gamers that can sit there and talk back and forth about games from different consoles and still have a, a, civil, a civil talk, be able to just talk about games and the passion that they have for that game game for that franchise and that's just something that you know and uh, th his statement uh, it's it is 100% accurate I, I I'm full I'll, I'm all for that statement uh, the next one is um, doo -doo -doo -doo. Uh, moving on to another one is that he made I have no credibility building a path forward with the without acknowledging that by that he meant he was a part of a leadership role that helped make Xbox One. He was in the room when they were making these decisions, and I give him some major credit for coming out and making the statement. The statement that is something I look for in a leader of any kind of community. It is someone that can come out and say that they were in the wrong, but still want to move forward and want to reach out to their loyal customers by bringing them what they want and he's done he's done so much for our community in the last last uh, 18 months that he's been a part he's uh, f worked hard to get backwards compatibility up he's been working he's been getting everybody on the ball on uh, the new UI he's been they've, they've been working on Xbox as a brand and I really appreciate uh, all the hard work that he is putting into it uh, I'm pretty sure that he's made some statements that I'm not aware of, but um, anyways, uh, the next one, the next statement, and it's going to be the last statement that had some people get, get their feathers all in a ruffle, and uh, that statement is, you know, I don't know you know the length of this generation. They, Sony have a huge lead and they have a good product and some very low <laughs> and some very loyal xbox and some very aggressive ponies got upset got upset about this statement oh my god um for me personally i can honestly say that playstation is a great piece of equipment and some very interesting games such as uh, Horizon Zero Dawn. Uh, I wanted to play The Order 1886. There's there's a bunch of games that I w that look interesting to me, and I can honestly go out and say that I can say that this stuff looks interesting, and I give him props for being able to just do that, to be able to say, yeah, that's a pretty impressive thing. I I think that they're doing well in sales and stuff like that, and you know. A person like that being able to openly say something about another company or to be able to say something that would actually hurt them as a company, I don't know. It just it, it makes me think he's an honest person and I can't wait to see what Phil Spencer 
can do as the lead of Xbox. Anyways, guys, that's all I really have for you today. Uh, please don't forget to hit that like and share button if you are a part of my normal subscriber base. And if you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Anyways, guys, it's your boy C-Note. Peace out.